Hey group, it's me again. I want to thank you so much for all the feedback I've been getting. It's been very helpful, um, especially so many of the questions. Um, it's been really great to uh, think about some things that just haven't been thought about before. So uh, questions are great. Uh, oftentimes I don't even have the answer, so I end up just uh, writing those down and those will become the topics that we will use during our self-study process. So those are great. Um, and I will circle back to uh, all those questions once I do have answers uh, to them so we can follow up and see if what we're thinking is similar to what you were uh, thinking with that and uh, see if you have any more feedback. So that's been great. Uh, today's topic uh, really is one of my favorites. It's probably my favorite class that we offer here. And that's really because it is such a partnership with all of you guys as far as using um, our connections in Sioux Falls as well as at Augustana. And this is our advanced procedures course. So we have a specific course now <clears throat> that basically covers some of the um, emerging techniques in athletic training. Um, some of them are increasing in our practice act, some things uh, in there that the uh, accreditors have asked us to start teaching. Some of these things include like suturing and uh, joint mobilization and manipulations, uh, uh, different things like that, joint uh, relocations, things that traditionally have not been um, discussed in athletic training and kind of are future oriented with that, that um, we teach and uh, maybe uh, do simulations or maybe just talk about them uh, with the idea that someday uh, this may become standard in athletic training practice. But we also have the opportunity to cover uh, just some interesting topics as well. And so here's the list of topics that we've covered in the past. Um, and the way this course works is uh, once we identify a topic, we identify also a guest lecturer or uh, presenter that comes in in the evening during a two hour period and leads, you know, somewhat of an interactive lab type activity uh, for that session. And so you can see some of the topics there um, that we've had that we've identified and had speakers in. But what we do is as instructors, we prepare um, material ahead of time so that way the students have a good context of the understanding so we can focus primarily in that lab just on the how to aspect but really it's any sort of technique that we think is either emerging or something that our students uh, would want to know or might be a differentiator for us and so that's really what i'm asking about uh today in this in this review is what do you think would be a good use of this class period? There are some topics that we have to include in there, and I mentioned some of them. Um, but should we, you know, look at maybe re reducing having fewer topics, having students get more um, perspectives or like combine them where we might have a theme for the year? Um, with that that might be more treatment oriented and that, or more diagnostic oriented or uh, so we have few of them and we combine them more. Are there different topics that should be uh, included in there instead? You know, are there uh, things that any of you guys are particularly interested in that you may want to uh, lead with that? And so just kind of what your overall thoughts are in you know, what sort of things you think might be really good for us as an athletic training program to emphasize and maybe differentiate us from uh, other athletic training programs. So as always, you can just interact there, give me, uh, uh, contact me directly with email, however you want to, and thanks so much for your feedback.